I'm Jana Lee Ortiz, AKA Station 19's Andy Herrera, and welcome to our first ever live stream. <laughs> We're here to answer all of your questions, so get those Twitter, Facebook thumbs and gear and let us know what you're thinking. But before we get started, let's meet the rest of the cast. Yeah. Uh, I'm Barrett Doss. I play Victoria Vic Hughes. Um, and I like to think of Vic as everybody, the station's little sister. She talks a lot of trash. <laughs> talks a lot of trash. Uh, I'm Jason George. I play Ben Warren, and I used to be a surgeon. Ooh. Right, right? What y'all know about that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jana Lee Ortiz. I play Andy Herrera. She's a second generation firefighter, natural born leader who is driven by success. Wow. <laughs> Not your leader, is, she does it to herself. My name is Danielle Savory. I play Maya Bishop. She is an ex Olympian turned firefighter, and I would say she's the number one cheerleader for the other female colleagues she works with. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, my name is Oak. I play Dean Miller. Uh, Dean lives on a houseboat. He likes puppies. And <laughs> I think he's a pretty funny dude. <clears throat> but you will decide. And long walks on the beach. No. <laughs> short, short walks on the beach. Hi, guys. My name is Alberto Fretza, and I play Ryan Tanner, uh, Seattle Police Department. And I'm, uh, I think Ryan is always a very reliable guy, and he's always there to help the firefighters whenever they need anything. So. He's around. He's around. Uh, I'm Gray Damon. I play Jack Gibson. And Gibson is basically a uh, dedicated and ambitious... This kind of just sound like the same thing, but yeah, that's that's Jack Gibson, <laughs> dedicated and ambitious. Uh, I'm Jay Hayden. I play uh, Superintendent Chief Battalion President <laughs> <laughs> Travis Montgomery. None of, none of that's true. None of that is. I play Travis, uh, who is a character with no faults or weaknesses. So, uh, just, you know, just being me. Equally not true. Yeah. Uh, openly gay, openly awesome. Uh, Travis is a little weary of outsiders and loves Vic. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, I'm Miguel Sandoval. I play Captain Pruitt Herrera. I also happen to be Andy Herrera's father. Andy. Oh, okay. We got <laughs> and basically all of our guys, too. Okay. Um, Station 19 is the spinoff of ABC's Grey's Anatomy and is the newest addition to TGIT at Shondaland. Uh, it's a show about a team of hardworking Seattle firefighters who risk it all to save lives. Our two-hour series premiere is this Thursday, and we couldn't be more. Are, are you excited? Are you excited? Yeah. 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 All right. So now let's answer some questions. Ooh. Um, we're oh. supposed to grab oh. some questions out of this helmet here. So let's see. What's one piece of advice you could give to young people who want to go into acting? Oh. Hmm. Anybody? Anybody? Uh, <laughs> I mean, I. Study? Yeah. Study. Study, study, study the craft study and, and get, your, get your money right. Get your money right. Yeah. Get a job that lets you get out to do stuff. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Never stop studying. Yeah. Just keep, keep going. Ever. Keep going to class. I think that's the most important thing. Yeah. 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 Perseverance, mm -hmm. too, and loving the job. Mm -hmm. You gotta love Remember it. why you got into it. Yes. Why is a big one. Why is a big one. That's the way to go. Yeah. have to always answer yeah. that. Go to the next question. <laughs> Uh, how similar do you think you are to your character on Station 19? Ooh. Should we go? <laughs> I'll, answer, I'll answer that. Yeah. I, I think I'm, I'm very similar. I mean, I'm, I'm grouchy like Captain <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's naturally. Yeah. So um, that's, that's a little bit of typecasting mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Generally um, unfriendly. I have, I have <laughs> an only daughter on the show. Uh, played by Jana Lee Ortiz. Um, in real life, I have an only daughter who's about the same age as Jana is. Um, so, on the show, I have a daughter in the same profession, and in real life, I have a daughter who's in the same profession because she's also an actor. So, there are a lot of similarities to my real life that I'm, that I'm exploiting for, uh, for Captain Adetta. How are we supposed to follow that? No. You're not. Anybody else similar? <laughs> You're not a character in Station 19? Anybody else? I mean, in yeah. some ways, I feel like we all are. We function, yeah. I mean, as a, as a unit and as a team, I think, which is really, yeah. like, a great thing that we get to pull from our characters and from the show. And, like, the experience of being an ensemble and a team. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We sort of get to work on as actors, and then it spills over into our work I think as firefighters. Are, are really competitive, too. Yeah. Yes. Right? 
really competitive. I mean, I, I also feel like Stacy has quickly gotten to know us, so she writes all of our characters in our voice a little mm -hmm. bit. Right. So yeah. that would be... Yeah. Yeah. Stacy, who created the show. Stacy McKee. Stacy McKee. That's right. Pick up. All right, all right, here we go. Okay. Uh, here comes the, uh, the tough one, which is... Can you define your character in three words? Barrett Doss, go. Three words. Oh! Uh, now, go. Three words. Uh, um, uh, uh, fun loving. Mm, that's, that's two. Oh, oh you only have one left. It's a hyphen. We'll count it as one. We'll count it as okay, one. Um, uh, um, sarcastic and um, loyal. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, uh, I got one. I got one. Uh, by the book. Whoa! 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 Anyone else? Three words. Three words. No. Not by book. That's true. That's true. That's true. But I think we're all badass. 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 Bad badass. Go around. Badass. All badass. Bad. Badass. Bad. 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 a pretty big yeah. feminist. Can we say? Bad. Bad. I like that. Feminist warrior. Feminist warrior. Stacy! Hi, Stacy. Our boss just showed up over there. We're trying to see if we can get her to show up on Come On, Get On Camera. Okay, and the next one. All right, anybody want to pick? Yeah. Somebody from the back row, pick one. Pick a question. Isn't this live, too? They can keep asking questions. Why is Jason George so handsome? Oh, Jay. Stop it. Why is he so handsome? What has been your favorite? Stacy McKee. Stacy, say, hey, say hi to the world. Creator, say hi to the world. <laughs> executive producer, creator, showrunner of Station 19. She is the reason why we are here, why we exist, why these characters are so full of vibrancy and life. And, and why you're going to laugh and cry every Thursday yes, night. Yes, exactly. exactly. <laughs> okay, thank you. Here. Um, what what was that else? question? Do we, we have, have a real question? question? We have a question. Have a question. Real have a question. question. What has been your favorite moment on set so far? Really? Is that the question? Yeah. <gasps> Celebrating <laughs> Jay's birthday. What is that? Was not, that was not my favorite moment. No. Because yeah. he hated uh, every second of it. <laughs> they put, I think they put, Maybe what, a hundred balloons in I, his trailer? Yeah. Yes, and we filled his entire trailer. <laughs> still, still in there. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. I spent the you whole say day we but... like. <laughs> yeah, <it's great. laughs> it's like like there was a group. Yeah. Of, it was. It yeah, was yeah, mutual. had nothing to do with it. Yeah. Parents like, don't put me in there. When we have like the beanery. Family yeah. meals. Yeah. Those are in this room at this table eating. This one eating like a whole apple <laughs> cobbler. <laughs> and one thing. Oh, you know, that when we're all here. here. When we're yeah. all yeah. here. It feels <laughs> not unlike this. This table is like the craziest family <laughs> dinner you ever had. Stacy, do you have a favorite dinner on set Well, my favorite day was probably the first scene we ever shot, just okay. because, how could it not be? Yeah. But another favorite moment was in the middle of the night, I think probably our last night shooting the pilot, uh. when it was, I mean, in the middle of the night, we'd been there forever, everyone was sound asleep and just walking through, and like where everyone's sort of in their chairs, hunkered down, half asleep, and be like, all right, time to go, and everyone would be like, yes, let's go! And it was just amazing mm -hmm. watching you guys, you're so just like effervescent and so much energy, it was it was really interesting. Danielle in particular. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was candy like, fuels. That's yeah. candy fuels. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she always yeah. has sugar, huh? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I got a question that says, do you remember your audition for Station 19? Oh, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. I do. I remember them all. <laughs> <laughs> Alberta, yeah, sure, what do you please. remember? Uh, what do I remember? Yeah, what do you remember? I mean, it was a great experience. I felt like I connected with the character ever since I read it for the first time. So it was very nice to go in and you know, I went in a couple times, so it was nice to, to go in and do it in front of first the casting director and then Stacy in Paris, and you know, it was just, uh, I guess it was meant to be. Aww, <laughs> so the only guy ever in history who likes auditioning. <laughs> I, <never> said, <laughs> I, I said it was a good experience because I'm here now. Right, yeah. Saying, okay? Here, you get a hat for that. Okay. Oh, Thanks, Jay. Or a badge. Or a badge. Oh, yeah, badge. Badge, yeah. badge, yeah. badge, badge too. Oh, yeah. You're gonna be so dressed. Uh, up. What, wait, hold on. Other other experiences oh. auditioning? No. Yeah. Who else had their audition experience? Tell us yours. That's oh, what they want. Yeah. 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 Come on. <laughs> well, I kind of went in. Um, I had a I had a meeting with with Shonda Rhimes and Betsy Beers and um, Linda 
Linda Lowy, our, our casting director, and Linda I was Lowe. nervous. I was so nervous. I mean, Shonda's like the most intimidating woman I've ever met. I mean that in a good way. Like it's, and so um, the meeting went. Uh, I thought it went well, even though I was like stuttering every five seconds. Um, and so I went in. I went in for this one show, and then I came out thinking I was going to get that. And then it happened to be Station 19. I had no idea what the show was called. Who my character was, I had nothing. I didn't. I, I, I knew nothing about to be fair, anything. Well, nobody knew what the show. Yeah, was. yeah. nobody. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just excited to. Yeah, I have this show, and it's um. Well, I, you obviously you did an amazing job because I remember it very clearly. I was in my office writing things for the pilot that hadn't even been finished yet, and I get this call from Shonda saying, "Open your email right now. You have to look this real. We've met the person. We've met our Andy." And I was like, "What?" And it was yeah. this crazy, amazing yeah. moment where it was just, you know, meant to be. So, oh, I, you know, it was good. And I had to wait three months to find out. <laughs> <laughs> so for three months, I was just <laughs> hoping, wishing, you know, imagining what this could be like. And You were yeah. so amazing, though, when every single person got cast, you were, like, oh, immediately yeah. oh, reaching yeah. out to everybody, yeah. like, on Instagram, yeah. hunting us yeah. down, being like, mm -hmm. congratulations, yeah. I'm Jaina, nice to meet you. I know, I know. Like, that was so amazing. I loved yeah. that. Okay, that's that. it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. okay. Next, next, next. All right. What inspired you to become an actor? Oh, wow. Mm. Going deep early in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's like, it's early. Well, I used to be a professional salsa dancer, and I loved performing. And I, um, I've always wanted the performance to last longer than just three minutes on stage, and so this was sort of like an extension of... Hmm. of that performance um but i i'm like a really empathetic person so every time I, I i feel something on when i watch a tv show or a movie i instantly feel that and i i, I just this is us i know Sorry, this, I'm just this, thinking about oh yeah crying. this is us i cry i just cry when i see someone cry i cry so i i loved um you know when when i when i get to experience uh you know an artist's work affect me in the way that it did i mean i don't want to i keep talking go 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 you go, you go. <laughs> that's it that's it that's why i came Sasa, Sasa. Um, Anyone else? Mm -hmm. I don't think I had a choice. I think I was just born. Born. She was born. <laughs> like, I mean, I started young, but I fell into it, which is a weird thing to say when you're young, but I don't know. I just, I feel like there's nothing else I could be doing besides acting. That's funny. See, I was the exact opposite. I was, I, I was planning on doing other things, and I took an acting class in college. Uh -huh. And, you know, just immediately discovered, you know, when you pretend to be somebody else, when you walk in somebody else's shoes, literally, mm -hmm. you learn things about yourself. As well as you're learning things about other That's people, you learn you know, yeah. the possibilities, and it, so it, you you grow as a person, and you're also becoming more empathetic to other people. Mm -hmm. You know, but you don't pretend, Jason. You are that. I am. Person. I am. <laughs> Why about you, Oak? Why did you? Oak. Oh, oh, okay. Why? Uh, gray and then Oak. Oak. Okay. I never asked you that question. Mm. Uh, with all the long, deep well, conversations we've we had, um, <laughs> they hate each other. Why did I get into acting? Uh, I think I I performed when I was really young and the DCTC, which is the Denver Center Theater Company of A Christmas Carol, and I was a sled boy, a horse boy, <laughs> and Peter Cratchit, which is like the brother nobody cares about. And uh, you've been chasing that high ever since. Please call him sled boy for the rest yes! of the time. Sled boy. Sled boy. <laughs> sled boy. It's horse gonna be, boy. It's gonna, it's gonna be a new thing. Horse, horse, horse boy. Done it now, man. You did yeah. it. Uh, but then I stopped for a while, and I was just like, I don't know if this is, uh, and then I saw Philip Seymour Hoffman in Before the Devil Knows You're Dead, and I was out here trying to be a cartoonist, actually, and uh, I was sort of going to acting class and stuff, and that was the role that I was like, oh my god, I want to do that, you know? Hmm. Hmm. It was sort nice. of, that was the thing that really hmm. put That's me over. New. But you are an amazing artist, too. I mean, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah <laughs> that is real. Amazing. Thank yeah, you. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh. oh. What was the question? <laughs> what inspired you to become an actor? Uh, I, I just need something to do. I just got, got in trouble a lot. I got kicked out of school a bunch. So I just kind of idle hands. So I needed to do something. And this is the one thing that didn't piss me off. So I kept doing it. <laughs> Everything <laughs> else pisses Oak off. You just remember that. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> and you don't want to piss Oak off. That's good. Uh, anyone you want to go another Pass question? It. Here, give me a Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Oh, nice catch. I almost again for your head. Um, Ooh, would it be the first know, broken nose I've had? I know, pretty awesome. All right, question. Uh, if you weren't acting, what would you be doing right now? Mm. <clears throat> That's good for you. You answer that. What would you be doing? 
I have no idea. You'd be a, <laughs> you'd be a professional soccer player. Yeah, I don't know. Oh. I, still, I, I wanted to be a soccer player when I was a kid, and then once I graduated from high school, I decided to stop and venture into the acting. So, I, I don't. Those are the only two things that I've ever really wanted to do in my life. So, I guess I'm doing something right. All right, go ahead. Anybody else? I think I would be a professional personal organizer. I love doing that. Oh my god, that's I, so true. perfect. I, yeah. I, I, I mean, I, why did I think of that before? Yeah. Oh, oh, OCD. 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 The older I become, I become a little more, um, uh, home, uh, what is it? Uh, germaphobe. And I have a picture with you in the bag of Pure, Purell. Yeah. Yeah. Purell. Yeah. We have regular interventions. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Remember the sandwich basket oh, during the pilot? Oh my god. That so was I went the to go best. have oh, a first sandwich. But you know, like when they're all stacked up in a nice way, in a in nice, very, beautiful yeah. way. But I was trying to find the tuna sandwich, yeah. I think, one of them, whatever it was, and I couldn't find it. So I gingerly picked up this one. Wait, the was... audience doesn't know what you're talking about. Wait, I thought I was explaining it. There's yeah. sandwiches in the thing, and I gingerly okay. moved them to find the one I wanted to find. And Jane is just like, you do oh, it better. Just, oh, oh, you're t oh, you're touching them. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> oh, you're touching them. That's, right. Right. that's all right. That's okay. okay. Like, and also okay, like right, talking to like. That's, okay. That's fine. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. So I anybody else really quick that. That's so good. Uh, what else would you be if you weren't acting? No, I think you already answered that. All right, that's it. that's it, that's it, that's all you guys, all right, all right, all right. This is getting good, but it's about to get even better because we're about to give you an exclusive sneak peek of Station 19, our new drama series, premiering this Thursday, 9, 9 o'clock Central. Central, 9, 8 Central, ABC, where? Where again? On ABC. 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 Okay. At 9 what? Central. What? I just wanted to include On ABC. Thursday. 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 Okay, I'm ready, but um, oh, that's I don't know what to say. Thank you. Okay, we're back. We are back live. Um, Jason George here. <laughs> now that everyone's all warmed up, we uh, we want to hear from you. <laughs> I love it. Was that your oh, usual? Oh, oh, it's the Jason. Oh, wait, no, oh, it's it's the 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 oh. Okay, guys, we need your attention. We need your attention. Um, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it to Jason. He's no. gonna take over. Look, we're gonna mm. we're gonna we're gonna take on some of your live questions right now. Yep. So uh, let's see. Okay. So we got a question from uh, from Kaylin. Uh, I, I'm guessing this is for me because uh, what made my character? What made Ben change careers? Uh, Ben changed careers because uh, and Stacey can actually jump in on this one as well. <laughs> Basically, um, Ben is always looking for challenges. Ben has this adrenaline. He gets really. Uh, he's going to do whatever it takes in the situation to save the life and. That's gotten him in a lot of trouble in the past, and so now he's finally in a place where that adrenaline is actually one of the tools you need in order to get through the day and actually to save the lives. So it gets him a little bit closer to the action, better chance to save people's lives, because the difference you make here makes a big difference by the time you get him to the hospital. Yep, so many, first, yeah. Well said. So many questions are coming in. Are any of you real firefighters? Ooh, Danielle's sister. Well, Danielle's, Danielle's sister. 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 Yeah. Danielle's sister Everyone's is a sister. real firefighter. Huh? Yeah, my sister, my older sister, is an actual real LAFD firefighter, and I'm so proud of her, and I look up to her so much. And, and her name is? Stephanie Savory. There you go. Yep. Shout out, shout out. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, how similar is Station 19 to Grey's Anatomy? Anybody? Stacy. Stacy. <laughs> they are both different and the same. 
Uh, it's very similar in tone and in energy, but it's also super different because at Gray's, you know, you don't get to go out to the to the locations. Everything's contained in the hospital. Here we're going out. We're on location. We got stunts. We've got you know fires. We got night shoots. We night oh, shoots. we got yes. night shoots. <laughs> um, for Stacy from Jessica. Oh. What made you create Station 19? Uh-oh, that's a good question. Oh, that's an really excellent question. question. Um, many, many things. Uh, there was always going to be the idea of a Grey's Anatomy, Grey's Anatomy spinoff, and I don't think, and you know, we'd settled on what the right concept would be, and, you know, I, I don't know, I've always kind of wanted to hitch a ride in a fire truck, so maybe it was a little <laughs> bit self-serving to walk into Shonda's office and say, what if we did firefighters? Wouldn't that be fun? Hey! Uh, also, you look at the world of Grey's Anatomy, and, you know, we are there in the breezeway, you drop off a patient, you drive off. And yet I wanted to kind of drive off with those characters right. in the ambulance and go see what they do all day. Mm -hmm. It's just shining a light on a different part of the universe. So it just seems like a perfect Aww. thing. Okay, uh, okay. <clears throat> uh, what's been the craziest thing about being in inducted into the TGIT universe? Hmm. I've been in TGIT, so yeah. I the it's fans. Been the fans? Yeah. I mean, well, because we live tweeted during your the embedded episode, mm -hmm. and it was so it was great fun. to interact with the fans. I mean, I wasn't even in the episode, and I was just like, <laughs> yeah. "Isn't she amazing?" Like yeah. talking about Jada, like it's, it was so much fun to they, do. They, <laughs> they were yeah. so great, like with interacting. And you guys are great. Yeah. You guys are amazing. It's the most phenomenal fans on the universe. Yes, yes. yes. no question. That this is a question from Rachel. Uh, what is your favorite part of learning how to act as a firefighter? Mm. <laughs> <Good one. laughs> mm. Barrett. Um, <laughs> I, mean, I love, I really do. I think something kind of fun about this cast is we have a lot of former athletes, I think, in this group. Yeah. And um, I think we all enjoy. Raise your hand if you're a former athlete. athlete. Sort of. Yeah, I mean, everyone has, a lot of people have a background in, in sports, and I think that that sense of competition and that physicality that we get to use in this job is uniquely suited to people who, um, who played sports. So for me, at least, that's a huge part of it. I really, really enjoy, um, I, I enjoy the physical aspect of what we get to do. And especially as a woman, you don't always get to, 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 play physically strong and all three of us are so mm -hmm. I mean I'll just yeah. I, I'm really proud of that and the work that we get to do in that respect but all of us I mean I feel like we get to this is a very unique skill and even learning little pieces of it it's just super inspiring and learning what it actually takes to be a firefighter because that's oh, yeah. even the tiny bits that we we <clears throat> emulate that we get to fake it's um it's unbelievable that there are real people who do this every day and it's yeah. it's super inspiring needless to say it gives you even more respect for absolutely. the work that they absolutely. do. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was saying they're like scientists and superheroes, and like, like yeah. all like smashed into yeah. one. And it's nice. stuff that you wouldn't even. And doctors, yeah. you know, it's it's pretty incredible. And you see how big a heart these guys have. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the, these women yeah. and men, uh, you know, when they don't save the life, they're wrecked. And like, uh, you know, one of our, you know. Some of our technical advisors are, you know, saw him talking about his mentors, and he, he's getting all teary-eyed just talking about mm. his house dad. You know, the guy who he, he taught him how to be a firefighter, but he was like, he taught me how to be a person, how to be a man, and that right. was a that was really cool to see. Mm -hmm. Really selfless job. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, very. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, from, from Amy. From Amy. Mm -hmm. uh, what are the similarities between Andy and Meredith? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think um, I think they're both uh, very ambitious. They're all about being successful and wanting to, to be the best in their job. They also don't have um, the most uh, stable love life. <laughs> <laughs> but for the most part, <laughs> it's so nice. Yeah. 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 What, else, yeah. what else can... But I they're mean, completely badass. Right. I don't yeah. want to mm -hmm. give There's too much. You'll, you'll find out. You'll find out. It'll yeah. unfold. They have a yeah. Life. I think, yeah. I'll throw this in. I think there's a cool thing with both of you that uh, you don't have to be the person officially in charge to be a leader in your team. Mm. Uh, mm. And that's the thing that you Ooh, discover like about that. Andy very quickly, you know. Yeah. Okay. Your new press agent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, here for you. I'm gonna get yeah, you everywhere, right, right. yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so, uh, so hey, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today for our first ever Facebook Live. And don't miss the two hour series premiere of our new show, Station 19. Wait, 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 it's wait, wait, wait. this Thursday. What is it? This Thursday on ABC. 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 Don't miss it, y'all. Don't miss it. I'm not going to get y'all.
We got a problem? Blocked hydrant? Oh, hell no. Everything is under control. Let's go. Thank you. Tanner speaking. Red zone applies to everyone. Crap. Those little old ladies, cops, bomb squad, FBI, Stop. CIA, Wait. Homeland I'm on my Security, way. Fire Department, anyone escaping the apocalypse, and then God. Are you God? Because if not... Really? No, I needed the hydrant. You weren't around. I was around, literally down the street, evacuating people. But your car was blocking the water source we need to fight the fire. I can't just ignore a call I to help. I expect you to ignore it. I expect you to watch where you're parking when you answer it. You gave me no time. I called. To gloat. To tell you. Too late. You can't just ram my car. You can't just block my hydrant. This isn't you. I'm telling my boss. Great, and I'm telling mine. She, uh, she always talked to cops like that? <laughs> Only the one she went to prom with.